Well, welcome to the center bar. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. You see, I'm getting my blowing tanks all set up and whatnot, and I've been playing around with some different techniques for finishes, um, color matching, that sort of thing. And I've been watching Mark Novak's channel. He's got a, a great channel, he used to call it Anvil, um, where he does a lot of rust conversion stuff, primarily with um, military surplus rifles, old rusty ones. I've got this coating of, of red iron oxide rust, and he's boiling them, carding them, and turning that red rust into a black iron oxide layer, which is all that, that bluing is. So I, I got to admit that really appeals to me. Rather than taking a, a rusty um, firearm and taking it all right back to, to a bare metal finish and polishing it all up and re-bluing it and having a completely refinished gun, if we can take a, a, a rusty gun, convert that red rust to a black rust, and make it look far, far better and still maintain an original finish. So what I did is I, I dug around. We've got a couple of old trunks here of uh, old, mostly percussion shotguns that are, are really rough um, and a lot of parts and pieces. And I found this old barrel. It's a Damascus steel or maybe twist. It's hard to see the pattern through here. Um, then cut off at a wild angle here and a a little soft uh, piece of lead for a front sight that's been smashed flat to the barrel. This thing was probably found in a barn or a, a shed somewhere because they can't even hardly see light through the boards or cobwebs and stuff for some thick. So it's not going to hurt anything if it doesn't come out really good. So a good one to experiment on. So what we'll do is because it's got a lot of dirt and corrosion on it, we'll, we'll just wash it up with soap and water, get the tank heating up here. Um, then we'll boil it for a while and take it over the carding wheel and clean it up and just see how it turns out. This is going to be really a fun one for me. This is something I haven't done before other than watching uh, Mark's channel over there to see uh, how he does it. I don't really have any preconceived notions so I'm, I've got high hopes it'll look good when we're done. Okay so first off we're just going to use this nylon brush and start cleaning up dry to start with. Well, there's a lot of just dirt and corrosion down along this central rib. Um, big wad of, of dried mud there. We'll get as much of it off as possible and then we'll take it in and use some warm soapy water to, to finish the job. Then we'll, we'll swab out the, the bores a little bit, see what uh, might just come out of these things. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nasty, cobwebs and rust and dirt and whatnot. Let's see about the other one. Yeah, not, not quite as bad on that one. Oh. We'll spend a few minutes here cl cleaning this up and uh, then we'll get in and get it, get it washed up real good while, while the tank's heating up and uh, get ready to boil this thing down. Okay, so we'll finish cleaning all of this old mud and dirt off of it here with some soapy water. And then we'll swab it out, kind of do the same thing we did inside um, dry out here get her cleaned up real good so we don't get all that dirt and mud and whatnot into our, our uh, balloon tank out there we're trying not to, to take any of the, the red rust off just, just the mud and dirt and whatnot get some soap on that swab Ooh, that's kind of nasty and the other one side Okay, so now we're just about up to boiling here, so we'll go ahead and stick this old shotgun barrel in, in the water. Now what we're doing here is a form of slow rust blue. Now if you're familiar with slow rust blue, basically what we do is we take the, the part down to this bare metal, polish it up, degrease it, clean it really well, and then we put a, a artificial rusting solution on real thinly and let a thin coat of red rust appear on that metal and then we do the same thing we're going to do here we boil it and then we cart it off so what we're doing essentially is using the red rust that's formed naturally on this barrel to create that slow rust blue process so it's it's a um, we're kind of jumping a step there but then we're not getting just a complete refinish so um, 
I really like the idea of this and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so we're about 20 minutes in on this boil. We're going to go about 45 minutes or so. So we're about halfway there. You notice the water's getting pretty murky. It was clean water when we started this out, but uh, there's enough crap and corrosion coming off of that those old barrels to, to uh, dirty it up. The other thing you'll notice is that we're just barely over 200 degrees. Up here in the high country, it doesn't take uh, quite as much heat to boil water. So, um, you know, about 205, 206 or about 97 degrees Celsius we can boil up here. We'll leave it in there for another 20 minutes or so and then we'll take it out and see how she looks. Okay, so we've been at it for 45 minutes. Let's shut the burner down and pull it out of there see what she looks like. Drain the water out. You don't have to worry about drying them off. They're hot enough that they they dry off on their own right quick. Okay, so we'll hang those, let them cool off a little bit so they're a little easier to handle over there on the carding wheel and uh, take them over and see how they turn out. Okay, let's take a little closer look at this barrel now that we've got it boiled and cooled off. We're fortunate in that the red rust is, is pretty even on this thing, and it's kind of evened out a little more after boiling. We do see there's a, a spot where it's pretty deep right over here. Um, another one here that's that doesn't look very active, but there's some depth to that one, so they may not card out all the way, especially on the first pass. Um, if we turn it over, we'll see that uh, there is a little more depth under where the forend would be, um, which wouldn't really be so much of an issue if we were, were trying to put this gun back together. The, the extractor is actually free, which is a little bit surprising. Um, but I think it's it's thinned up that rust layer a little bit as well because now I can read here laminated steel here on the on the rib and and uh, I couldn't see that before so I think it kind of thinned it and evened it up and uh, the rest will we'll see what happens with the carding wheel. Okay, so this carding wheel is a grobbit. It's a very fine bristle of only about two and a half thousand. They're available from Brownells. Really soft and gentle. You wouldn't want to do this with a regular wire brush. Oh wow, we're starting to see that pattern. And it is a, a twist steel, which twist steel is more of a uh, say vertical line rather than the, the swirls of your Damascus steel. It's made in a similar way, it's just a matter of how the steel was twisted and formed. one side so we can kind of see that pattern and see how it's coming along. Wow, that's showing up great. It does look to me like it's going to have to go through at least a couple of passes. There's some enough spots of that red rust showing through that uh, another pass may take that off. This is turning out kind of a brownish color, which really I was expecting because that's that's kind of correct for this this age of, of uh, Damascus or twist steel shotguns. They would have, would have had a, a brownish cast rather than the, the blue that we see today. Or actually black if you're talking about modern day blue. Yeah, that's really, really coming along. Okay, so we took just a couple of minutes and carted off this one barrel. You can see, here's what we started with. And just after a couple of minutes of carting, here's where we ended up. Sorry about the glare. Hopefully you can see that okay. But we've saved the original finish on this gun. You know, it, it's not perfect, but... Uh, this is the original finish. We've all seen those guns out there that have been rusty like this and somebody took a, a wire wheel to them, a heavy duty wire wheel or, or coarse steel wool and, and took all the finish off, called them nickel plated <laughs> a lot of times. Um, 
this is a much better solution to these rusty old guns if we don't want to go through the the time and expense of a full refinish on them and um, we we maintain this original finish they do sell a product that uh, actually will bring out the contrast in the in the damascus steel a little bit better um and maybe we'll do that in a future episode but i'm just pleased as can be with the little amount of work that it took um to make just a, a vast improvement over what was just really a, a piece of junk when we started. So for the places that are really hard to reach with a carding wheel, you can actually use, um, this is a carding brush that has the same kind of real fine bristles as the wheel, um, a brass brush, brass or bronze wool is, is really good, or with a light hand, a real fine like a 4 aught steel wool. But make sure and degrease any of these things before you use them. Um, and you can use these products to card the whole thing if you'd like, but it just takes a long time. The carding wheel just makes it a much, much faster process. So from what started out as just a bucket of rust, we've now got a pretty presentable set of shotgun barrels for not a whole lot of time and work. And best of all, we saved what original finish we made on these things. So if you've got a rusty old gun at home, don't take it over to the wire wheel. Don't take the heavy steel wool to it. Don't take out a second mortgage on your house for what most outfits are charging for full restorations these days. You can boil them and gently card that rust off and, and convert, of course, the, the rust that we can convert into to finish um, and have a darn presentable gun with its original finish. So I want to thank Mark Novak for sharing this information on his channel. I'd, I'd love to take credit for it, but, but these techniques are, are some that I've learned from him. Um, but, and I'm just thrilled with having a, a new tool in the toolbox for, for working on some of these, particularly the really rough, rusty old guns. Until next time, happy trails from the Cinnabar.